still got plenty of fans. And that's why an exhibition which opened today at Warrington Museum and Art Gallery has attracted interest from all over the world. It marks the 30th anniversary of Formby's death. George Formby Sr. was a superstar of the Edwardian Music Hall. He gave a young Charlie Chaplin the idea for his famous tramp character. George Jr., meanwhile, was sent off to jockey school because his father was determined he shouldn't follow in his theatrical footsteps. But the Lancashire lad had other ideas, though they had to wait until his father died. He was on the stage within three weeks. He was at the Argyle Burton Head. But he started at the, um, a little picture house in Earlstown run by a man called uh, Harrison. And there was only Georgie going to give an audition at the first, or after the pictures, you see. And uh, uh, then they decided to put on a show, a show business, uh, we say today show business, and um, um, other stars with him. But it was when he introduced the ukulele into his act that George's career really took off. Fourteen of his prize ukes are in the exhibition, including one loaned by ex-Beatle George Harrison. They and other items, many from private collections, have been brought together with the help of members of the George Formby Society. But they say it's not their singing and meetings which keep the legend alive. It's George himself. It's me Auntie Maggie's homemade remedy, guaranteed never to fail. It's just something that has lasted through the years because of his warmth, his sincerity, the music, the happiness that he, he spreads and is continuing to spread 30 years after his death. What is it that, that gets them hooked on this man? I think they either pick up a hear a record or they see George on, on television and see his youth playing and his personality and say, this is something completely different than we're used to seeing on television. Who is this man? Formby performed more than 400 songs and was the favourite star of the late Queen Mary and the then Princess Elizabeth. But it was films that made him the public's favourite. From 1938 to 1944, he was Britain's biggest box office star. Formby loved motorbikes, cars and homes. And our priceless Norton bike he once owned is another of the exhibits. It's still in England, but other memorabilia has come from Formby fans as far afield as Canada and the Netherlands. Not surprising, since Formby went on to become a star who toured the world. When he died, 120,000 people lined the streets between Liverpool and Manchester for his funeral. But 30 years on, his appeal persists with Formby Society members as young as four years old. I'm leaning on the lamppost at the corner of the street in case it's turning little lady past the bar. Smashing, John Roberts. Leaning